Hello, good evening. So again, I hope I can have a yet now. So this means welcome to our channel, Marine Your Mommy. And again, I'm giving a man for si Mommy Michelle to give you another um informative um ESL lesson, a sample. Para po tayo ay mas niya karoon na tamang approach. Paano po tayo may ipag-communicate sa Bicap Ingles? So, I'll be giving you a sample of a little lesson at the end of the night. And ang topic po na napili ko ngayon na po ay isa ka. Okay. Okay. So, down on the page. Ayan. So, yung po na top, ang topic na na napili ko ngayon is how to best answer this question. How are you? So, how are you going to answer the question? How are you? Okay? In an honest manner. Of course, um, most of the time, when you're in a conversation, in the opening part of this uh, commun communication conversation, like if you're speaking with a stranger or with a friend, normally they would ask you this question, how are you? And sometimes, honestly, uh, it's like a bit of a... Uh, yeah, you get to have this mix, um, somewhat a bit of confusion. Really, how to how to address this question? How are you? So of course, uh, it depends really on who you're communicating with, or or can who you're with. Like, for example, if you're being asked by like you say a colleague or somebody from uh like the workplace if you're being asked by a fellow employee okay or a fellow worker then it is um like if you're speaking in a formal conversation then the answer should also be formal so again oh, it depends cool. on the setting if you're speaking with somebody, like in a normal, in a formal conversation, the answer should also be a form. Okay? So, like, let's say, for example, they ask you, how are you doing? How's your day? Well, you can say in a, in a very happy and enthusiastic uh, voice, you can say, great, I'm doing fine, I'm doing I'm doing great. Okay. Uh, so that will indicate that you are happy. And that also means that they'll, they'll get to have a feeling that you are in especially good mood. Okay. So again, that's a simple kind of answer to say great. Okay. And now, when you're in a less formal setting, like let's say, for example, um, if you're speaking with a friend or with a family member, a fellow family right. member, right. or a stranger, and you might okay. bump into them and ask them, they okay. might ask you, oh, how's your day? How are you? And the best answer would be, if in the last question, say, okay, okay, which means uh, this is a neutral answer. Like saying all right or I'm fine. Okay. So it can mean that something is bothering you. Okay. Like if you're saying it slowly, you need the lower tone of voice. Okay. So if you're if you have a friend or a family member and you may ask you again a follow-up question, like just okay? Are you sure you're okay? Then you can say, Yeah. I am okay. Okay? There. So, next is, like, if you're going to be asked, again, this time, um, someone will ask you. Okay. So, 
uh, how are you? Ayun, this time, um, if you're really speaking in a good mood, then you can say, I am excited. Okay? So that connotes a very positive answer, meaning that um, you're saying that you're excited because something great is about to happen. Like, um, if you're expecting uh, something rad or something really, um, uh, you say, extraordinary, uh, really, you know, a very positive thing that or event will take place, then you can say, I'm excited. Okay? Let's like, say, I'm delighted. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay? And then, Again, another way of saying or answering the question. It's another way of answering the question, how are you? You can say, I've been better. So what does that mean? When you say, I've been better, then that means to say that uh, something is wrong or something is not quite okay. Okay? So this means that and then, uh, of course, if you yeah. would say, I've been better than a friend or somebody who, again, asks you a follow-up question and you say, so what's wrong? Then there. So that can, again, start a, a conversation by sharing <laughs> with them uh, whatever hang-ups that you have or what's bothering you. Okay? Then... Okay, let's continue. So what are some of the other ways on how we need to answer this question? How are you? Right. So if someone asks you, how are you? And they will say, they say um, if you're worried, okay, just say, um, I'm, a, I'm a bit worried. Now, then that means to say, um, you're concerned about an issue. Okay, so that means that there you have a problem that needs to be fixed, or it might be that you just be thinking about the situation a lot because you have no control of it. Okay, then also, if you have a friend who's asking you, you're it's a bit of a uh, loaded with a lot of tasks or yeah, a lot of errands, then you can say, if someone asks you, how are you? You say, busy. I have a lot on my plate today. So that means to say, it's simply saying, um, telling your friends that you have many things to do. Okay? And then, uh, however, another way of answering that question Again, if you might feel a bit stressed or a bit sad or a bit um, not really in a good state of mind, you can see you can stress out. Okay. <laughs> so, again, that's another way of answering the question how are you? And then, um, another way of answering the question how are you? You can say, um, if you are having a challenging day when the best response will be, I'm hanging in there. Okay, that means to say that you are, are really having a hard time. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so, so those are some of the ways of how you can respond to the question, how are you? No, now I would like to add to it Okay, so there are, I would like to share with you some tips on how you can possibly respond to this question in, in a polite manner. Okay, if they ask yeah. you, like, how are you? Then in some cultural setting, of course, um, we all know that we do have different traditions, different cultural backgrounds, but to stop, a smile can be a perfect way to welcome the question in a positive and polite manner. So others there, they don't simply say anything, they just smile. So still it means positive. 
okay? And then also, when you're asking that question, you have to really be careful on uh, how you ask that question, because sometimes a high pitch tone could mean like you're you're trying to push the person to really answer you uh answer you quickly. Okay, it connotes that you are demanding from the person a quick response. So you should avoid that. Okay, because to some uh people it may mean uh this it can be a bit um awkward, right? Uh huh. So and also it can have a negative meaning. So when you're asking that question, you have to remember that your voice should be not too high, okay, and not with a sigh. Because <laughs> when you're saying how are you, and and then you, you do that, then it can mean to some, it can mean a bit in combat. Okay, so you have to always project that cheerful voice, you know, modulate the cheerful voice. Like, how are you doing? Yeah, that's the best way on how you should ask, okay? And, okay, so there you go. Um, Again, some quick response, positive response, uh, how to answer the question, how are you? Again, here are some examples. First, you can say, I'm fine, then. How about you? Okay, which is one of the most common responses that I usually receive from some of my English students. So yeah, I think they're more used to that kind of response. I'm fine, thanks. How about you? So again, it's returning back the question to the one who asked. So it's like um yeah, you know, injecting an impression that you're also concerned with the other one or the other one. Okay. Then but next is also, another way of answering that question in a positive response, how are you? You say, good, thanks, and you. Okay? And then another one is, I'm good. And yourself? There. Yeah. And then another one, a uh, fourth one, say, not bad, and how are you? There. Yeah. And then another one is, so you say, hi, and you? How are you? And then also, another one is, I'm doing well. And you? Yeah. And, uh -huh. and another one, the last one, is really good. I'm good. And now about you. There. So, there you have it. Um, again, I hope you learned something. And I hope um, this will help you to better um the um I will give you an idea on how to better answer the question and to really I I hope it it will come in handy for you guys. So again, in order for you to strike a conversation elsewhere or again to simply let others know that you can okay by simply using all of these phrases. So again, that's it for today. And again, thank you for having me here. And I hope that you have a great day. Again, before I leave, I would like to give you this saying, good, better, best, never rest until your good is better and your better is best. Again, this is Millennial Mom, and thank you for staying with me. Again, please, uh, I would like to refer to you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit that all notification posts so that you always get notified whenever we get to post a new video here in the channel. And also, I would like to in, uh, invite you to please like, comment, and share on my channel. Okay, again, thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye!